students this is mock test based on weed management so they are uh, important question in this test we will discuss all the options with the, their reasons and explanation so first question is total root parasite is so there are different type of weeds which are parasitic in nature means they are uh, they depends on the host and these root parasites uh, may be stem parasite or root parasite and then they may be two type total means totally they are depend on host and uh, semi root parasite partially or partially root parasite and these total uh, parasites are also known as holo parasite and this partially parasites are known as hemi so there are different name total root parasite e equal to holo parasite and partially means hemi parasite so this is uh, here question is asked about total parasite that is holo parasite and it is root so here answer is this uh, orobanki is the total root parasite this is also uh, root parasite but this is hemi root parasite this is hemi root parasite and this loranthus is uh, hemi stem parasite and this cascuta is holo or total stem parasite if we talk about their related crops so these are host specific so they these parasites whether it is root parasite or stem parasite depends on the crop type so striga is very common in uh, sorghum and sugarcane so this question may be asked and orobanki is common in tobacco and this loranthus in uh, fruit trees particularly mango and this coscuta this is the holo root parasite it is common in lucerne it is forage grass so these are the root parasites and generally question asked about the this root parasite or stem parasite whether it is total or partial or holo or hemi then another question is sages belong to family so sages belong to family cypressi this is very important and generally asked in examination uh, sages means so cypress rotunda cypress area cypress species come under sages this is different type of family and in case of leguminaceae pulse crops uh, like moong or the chickpea arhar come under leguminaceae legume crop pulse crop legume crop pulse crop and poaceae is actually gramine family so cereals come under this poaceae family then cruciferi mustard uh, member uh, yellow sarso brown sarso toria cabbage cauliflower also come under cruci fairy family then question is weeds which grow primarily in wild communities but often escape to cultivated field means they are generally grown in wild condition but they uh, occur in cultivated fields it means there is a, a migration or uh, we can say they are uh, introduced into the cultivated field from their wild habitat so such type of weeds are known as facultative weeds if we look into the different terms so rogue are of type plant rogue may be of type plant or any disease plant or infected plant which is not uh, uh, which meet out the crop variety specific plants are called as rogue then relative weeds these are plants crop plants these are crop plants but grown in other crop for example if a chickpea plant is grown in wheat then chickpea is considered as relative weeds so relative weeds are crop plants but grown in other crop field and facultative weeds are those weeds which grow in wild communities but have migrated into or escaped into cultivated field 
and obligate fields they are grown in cultivated field so their habitat uh, is cultivated field not in wild community then next is which one is not ravi season weed so in ravi season is not weed so anagallis arvenses argimone maxicana chinopodium album all these weeds occur in uh, ravi season and digitaria sanguinensis this is kharif weed so it is this weed grow in kharif season then the first publication of 2fold so this question is related to the publication of 2fold used as a selective herbicide so actually 2fold act as a hormone at low concentration but the first publication it is not the first use it is the first publication of 2fold used as a selective herbicide and this the work on 2fold was started Uh, during world war 2 when uh, us and united kingdom started the work on 2fold for defoliation of the crop to defeat the enemy countries so the first publication was in 40 1944 but the commercial use for as a commercial use it was uh, released in 1946 then non selective herbicide is so here non selective herbicide is paraquat paraquat diquat and glyphosate these three herbicides are non selective herbicide means kill all the vegetation while selective herbicides only kill the weeds and crop remain safe for example atrazine is selective herbicide it is applied in maize so when we apply in maize crops so maize plant remain safe but other weeds are killed so this is the difference between selective and non selective herbicides so non selective herbicides kills all type of vegetation whether it is a weed or crop so in uh, area where road side uh, or uh, any side where crop is not grown then we use non selective herbicides this question is related with the trade name stomp is trade name of stomp is very popular herbicide and it is trade name of pendamethlin and if we discuss about the trade name of other herbicide then alaclor uh, trade name is lasso atrazine is in the market in different names atratof atra tof atratop there are different names and isoprotron erilon so this is very common name trade name isoproton is airy long then paraquat belongs to group so this paraquat is non selective herbicide and it related with the by peridium group so paraquat diquat come under this group then other group amide like alaclor butaclor so we should remember the other group and their uh, herbicides so it may be asked in other examination then urea herbicide diuron monuron isoprotron isoproturon it is very uh, common herbicide used in wheat diuron monuron or urea herbicide then triazin atrazin is the common herbicide in triazin oh atrazin so these are the different group and their herbicides now which one is not post emergence herbicide is not here is about not her post emergence herbicide it means if it is not post emergence herbicide then it means it is either pe or pre plant uh, incorporation ppi herbicide so pendimethlin is pre emergence herbicide isoproton 24d these are post emergence herbicide and these herbicides are used in wheat crops so here correct answer is pendimethlin it is used as a pre emergence herbicide 
then chaining is used to remove chaining and dredging are used to remove aquatic weeds in ponds lakes so correct option is aquatic weeds so weeds uh, are removed by using a chain and they are dredged from the lakes so chaining and dredging are the important operation to remove the weeds which grow in water bodies in lakes ponds the application of topramazone is recommended in this topramazone is a new herbicide and it is recommended in mage so it is new herbicide and similar uh, herbicide is a tambotrione tambotrione and topramazone are of a similar group and uh, they bleach the plant so after the application of these herbicide topramazone uh, leaves become white so these two herbicides are new herbicide and post emergence herbicide recommended in mage then it is numerical to apply atragen 50% wp in 0.5 hectare area at the rate of 1 kg ai per hectare the requirement of herbicide will be so here this question is related with the herbicide dose and you know that uh, amount of herbicide formula we should remember the formula of this herbicide dose and question is asked rate of application rate of application in kg ai per hectare so how much rate is in kilogram ai per hectare divided by this formulation active ingredient or formulation then multiplied by 100 and this is in kg ai per hectare that's why dose is in kg per hectare so this calculation is for 1 hectare area so according to this question rate of application is 1 kg ai per hectare 1 kg ai per hectare and formulation is 50% so this is active ingredient 50% wp vetable powder so write this 50 multiplied by 100 then remove this unit kg i per hectare so 1 upon 50 into 100 that is 2 kg per hectare so this dose is 2 kg per hectare now convert or calculate the dose for the asked area so how much area is there 0.5 hectare so simple calculation for 1 hectare area how much 2 kg so for 0.5 hectare requirement will be 1 kg so this uh, may be asked in 4000 square meter area or 3000 square meter area so simple another further calculation is that this may be written as 1 hectare in 2 kg it means 10000 square meter area how much dose is required 10000 square meter equal to 1 hectare so for 10000 square meter area how much dose 2 kg so then we can calculate for desired area what is asked in question 4000 3000 2000 accordingly so here answer is 1 kg so this option is correct coligo is a coligo is a bio herbicide so this is very important and generally asked in examination so we should remember this name coligo then echinocloa species is an important weed of so echinocloa species occur in rice echinocloa cruzgeli echinocloa colona and these are uh, mimicry weeds their morphology is similar as of rice so it is very difficult to recognize or distinguish between both the plant in early stage because leaf morphology stem shoot are same as with rice so this also echinocloa is also a mimicry weed mimicry weeds are those weeds which are similar in morphology to crop for example in case of wheat felis minor is mimicry wheat
which one is not annual weed here is not annual it means maybe perennial or biennial so lantana camera is perennial weed felis minor convolvulus amaranthus these are annual weeds so lantana is the correct answer it is perennial then congress grass is a congress grass is parthenium parthenium is known as congress grass is a relative weed volunteer weed noxious or mimicry so relative weeds are the crop plants which occur in other crop field as we have discussed earlier for example chickpea plant in wheat field then volunteer weeds are those weeds which are germinated from preceding crop season noxious weeds are those weeds which are very problematic and difficult to control and undesirable so here congress grass is noxious weed its control is very difficult and cause several type of problem and mimicry weeds we have discussed that uh, in mimicry weeds are those weeds which uh, have similar formula, uh, morphology with crop for example echinocloa in rice and felis minor in wheat which herbicide is applied before sowing so before sowing pre plant incorporation herbicides are used so bispyribac sodium which is known as nomni gold pretila chlor isoprotron these are not applied before sowing these are applied after sowing so correct option is flu chlorelin it is pre plant incorporation and trade name is besalin so sometimes uh, the question is asked with this name besalin then which herbicide is banned so simagen is banned so this herbicide is not in use it has same group as of atragen that is triazine group but for a long time back it is banned it is not used in crop recently so remember this name simagen it is now in not in use which herbicide is not recommended in wheat so sulfosulfuron clodinafof and mat sulfuron methyl these are recommended propanil is not recommended propanil is recommended in rice then which crop face a wide flora of weeds so it is wide flora of weeds means different type of weeds annual perennial biennial herbaceous woody semi woody different type of weeds so this different type of weeds occur if crop duration uh, of is long crop duration is long then there may be kharif weeds may be ravi weeds different type of weeds then crop face different flora of weeds annual weeds biennial weeds woody weed semi woody weeds herbaceous weeds so here in this option long duration crop is sugarcane it takes almost 12 to 15 months so 12 to 15 months means more than one year so it this crop face uh, ravi weeds kharif weeds biennial different type of weed so this question is concept based question so we should know where would be more type of weeds when duration is long so this was about the mock test which was based on weed management thank you very much